Hey, folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today we're going to take on a new band for us, Jay Giles, the band from Boston, the uh, historically awesome band from Boston, known as the party band to end all party bands. We're going to check out House Party today. That's a song off their, let me see here, what their third album, Bloodshot, which came out in 1973. Uh, it had a couple of hits on it. It had Give It To Me, which is a pretty good size hit. And then it also had Ain't Nothing But A House Party, which is actually a cover song. Anyway, I thought this track would be worth looking at. There's not a whole lot of good video of Jay Giles out there, but I think I've got one that'll be all right for viewing and listening. So Adrian, are you familiar with this song? No, no. Uh, I, as far as I know, I haven't heard it before. All right, uh, let's check this out. We're gonna blow your face out! Crazy silly. I know, I know what you mean. You can do, babu galu, anything that you want. I know it's cold outside. Come on, mama, I'll keep you satisfied. All you gotta do is move. Every time, feel my groove. It ain't nothing.
I was thinking that might be a sax, but no, that was definitely a harmonica. Oh, it sure was. Yeah, that was a harmonica. They have a, a full-time harmonica player. He goes by Magic Dick. I think I might have heard that name before. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's famous in Boston, and for sure. Yeah, this band essentially never changed during its its lifetime or during the vast majority. Maybe at the very, very end, things splintered a bit, but... I think Peter Wolf left. So that's lead vocalist Peter Wolf. He was also famous for having uh, married Faye Dunaway, the actress <laughs> in the oh, 70s. I didn't realize. Yeah. And uh, Zeth Justman is the guy on keyboards, which is essentially that big B3 you heard. And uh, he's also kind of the brains. Well, maybe not the brains, but he, um, he writes most of the material with Peter Wolf. And Peter Wolf, by the way, was a DJ in Boston at some point before the Jay Giles band. Yeah, he's got the right voice for it. That's right. And rounding out the band was Danny Klein on bass and Stephen Joe Blad on drums. I never saw them. They were actually a little bit before my time, being able to see shows. They were really a phenomena in the 70s. In fact, this clip comes from November 5, 1977, at Winterland hmm. out in San Francisco. So it's nice that there's footage. Yeah. This band, I mean, it, they just didn't get a lot of footage. It's, it's a, or at least I haven't found anything, um, any really nice video yet. Like that's about as good as it gets. Um, but they're still well worth featuring. Yeah, my uh, first exposure to Jay Giles' band was Centerfold. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Freeze Frame was another one. Yeah. Well, that was on the same album. It was on the album called Freeze Frame, as a matter of fact. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, let me see. That yeah. came out in 81, and that was their huge breakthrough to the whole world. They'd had other hits, but that was the first one that was a runaway hit. You know, that was a number one album. Uh, Centerfold was number one. I think Freeze Frame itself was number four, something like that. Yeah. So, and it was also at that point, just about, that the band started to splinter. <laughs> so, yeah. unfortunately... That's true. I mean, that was their 10th studio album. And you can hear stuff on that album if you listen to it. Like they were doing Backwards Cowbell on one song. I remember listening to the album and hearing some studio tricks like that. You know, especially back in the analog days, they used to love to turn stuff around, turn the tape around, you know. The Bloodshot album is a pretty good one. I, I actually would recommend that to anybody who's just kind of interested in early Jay Giles. I would also, though, and maybe even before that, I'd recommend one of their live albums, like Full House, fantastic. It's the one that came out just before uh, yeah. Shut. And there's another one. Which album was Must Have Got Lost from? Was, it, was that it? That, that actually was first off the studio album Nightmares. And then, yeah, it became a big hit off the live album that came out, which was Blow Your Face Out in 1976. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I remember the live cut of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they, they must have played it a lot because... Uh, much of it was recorded at the Boston Garden. So yeah. <laughs> these were hometown heroes. I, I heard the introduction to that song uh, on the radio several times. Oh, yeah. There, there's a story in the beginning of the song. <laughs> oh, of. yeah. Oh, the must have got lost, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. So there's a lot to uh, look at with Jay Giles. We'll see. Um, if we have to, maybe we'll go do some audio at some point of them because there's some stuff we'd, it would be nice to hear on the channel yeah. but um, but if, if anybody out there happens to know of any really decent video of this band performing live in the 70s uh, please let us know love to see it and if you have any favorites of Jay Giles please let us know below if you saw them tell us about that that'd be great and uh, if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and if you enjoyed our presentation please subscribe all right thanks for joining us folks we'll catch you on the next one all right take care see you all later Bye.